Hey everybody, it's Alex here to talk about something I'm really passionate about, and that's 3D printing, especially in the world of VEX robotics. Now there's a lot you can do with 3D printing for VEX IQ and VEX EDR, and I want to discuss just some a little bit of those uh, opportunities for 3D printing. I'm a really big fan of it. A lot of people get discouraged about 3D printing just because you're not able to use 3D printed pieces as functional parts of your robot. So if I was to make you know, VEX IQ pieces and 3D print them, I'm not able to use them on my competition robot. But I can do things like make mock-ups of the new game object or anything else just for my own sake. 3D printing is a really great tool for that. As far as the V5 goes, there is the legal V5 controller add-on. This was designed by a student for an Autodesk challenge. It's been ruled legal by the REC and is a really great add-on for teams that want to get that extra edge. Non-functional decorations are going to be legal as well. So a nameplate such as this or something in a similar vein is going to be legal as long as it's not interacting with the game in any way. A lot of people have also expressed a desire for the V5 claw as a standalone item. It is not currently available from VEX, so I went ahead and just pulled apart the different files, converted them to STLs for printing. I mean, you can find a repository of those V5 claw files and as well as everything in VEX IQ as STL files um, in our link that I'm going to post. But this is really great because you can print all the separate parts of the V5 claw really easily with the STL files. So I printed them out using our H plus one printer. I really love the Affinia H plus one just because um, it's super easy to use and it's enclosed with a filter which means I can print ABS instead of PLA and I prefer ABS for mechanical parts like this just because they have a little more strength. So I printed out the different parts for my V5 claw. I assembled together and voila. Um, I could have added a few more rubber bands and a few other things to make it grip a little bit better but overall I'm really happy with how it came out and I'm able to grab cubes and manipulate some objects with it. So this would not be a competition legal item, but it's perfectly okay to use in the classroom and modify as well. I, mean, I think this is really great for learning robotics and doing anything outside of VEX competitions. So hopefully this gave you some ideas of things you can do with 3D printing or maybe got you excited to maybe start yourself. If you ever have any questions about how to get started, where to find these files or anything like that, just let us know um, and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching today. Have a great holiday season.